from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good afternoon. Hope you had a nice Saturday so far. I want to kick this off taking a look at the visible satellite here across the area. Pretty much all of this you see inland here. That's smoke from the park fire here. Of course, that's extended from north of Chico, passing up the highway near Shingletown. Now, this thing is just a monster out there. We're almost up to 300,000 acres in terms of the coverage of this fire. Certainly a historic fire. And I go down in the history books right now, of course. Now, as we head over the next several days, really the next couple days, today and tomorrow, that smoke's going to continue to linger across the area. But on the good side of things, right, in terms of the atmospherics, the pure atmospherics, just Mother Nature, well, we're in the cooling trend right now through today, through tomorrow, really through about Monday as well. I think as we head through the first half of the week, we're going to see very similar conditions to today. We're talking upper 80s, lower 90s. Check the valley out. Like I said, 88 to 90, that sort of range here for today. Out in Trinity County, you're probably going to be the hottest of all of us. We're about 90 to 91 out there. Siskiyou County, Modoc County out towards the eastern mountains down the 395 corridor. You're probably going to be staying there in the mid to upper 80s here for today, and probably into tomorrow as well. Now, Let's take a look at the smoke conditions because I'll tell you what, through today, man, this stuff is just absolutely thick. Of course, this is filtering into the valley, Shasta County, you know, out east towards the Eastern Mountains, Plumas County, Modoc County, Siskiyou County. Sound like a broken record, right? But this thing is just absolutely monstrous out there. And then as we head over the next day or so, we might even see some of this filter into Trinity County, maybe even as far east as some haze, or as far west rather, as Eastern Humboldt County along 299. So we're really seeing this fire just expand in its breadth in terms of the smoke. Now, Mike was mentioning this, and I agree. I do think there is some recovery from the overnight relative humidity, winds calming down a little bit. That is doing some favors. I'm not saying this thing's going to go out overnight, but we are helping. Or Mother Nature's helping, right? That's kind of the best way to put it here. Uh, as we head over the next couple of days, we're seeing slight improvements in the conditions that might help us put the damper on this thing. Perhaps it can put the brakes on its development. We can maybe get a little bit of containment on this thing. Of course, if there are any evacuation orders and notices that continue to expand, you can download the Free Weather NorCal app that we have, and that notifies you here wherever you're at. It says, hey, get out of Dodge, right? And also, a good app that I have here is Watch, uh, Watch Duty, right? That's a good fire update app. You can access a lot of cameras, see a lot of those notifications on a map. So there are a lot of useful apps. Of course, we'll talk about that more on the page over on Facebook. That's Mike Kruger Weather NorCal, and of course, uh, he'll keep you updated there. But yeah, just wanted to mention those. We're not sponsored by uh, Watch Duty or anything like that, but just personally, I would recommend them. They're a very good app here to use for keeping tracks on that. And of course, the Weather NorCal app will always notify you as soon as evacuation notice, evacuation order, any sort of weather advisory of any type is issued. So that's a good app there. want you to have that. All right, so let's take a look at conditions here as we head over the next several days because, yeah, like I said earlier, in terms of pure atmospherics, not seeing much in the way of updates, right? I really think we're pretty much staying steady state, for lack of a better term. Some cloud cover along the coast. We'll call that marine boundary layer really intense, right? I think we're going to stay foggy out there. But besides that, yeah, to be honest with you, I think the only story here in terms of the weather is that trend upwards. So in terms of temperatures, we're going to be warming back up as we head towards the rest of the week. So I'd say about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that sort of time frame is when we start to see those temperatures stepping their way up here. Over the next several days, we're going to be in the upper 80s and lower 90s, but that trend is not going to last forever. Of course, we're heading into August, so we're getting hotter and hotter, right? We're in the peak of the heat of the season, right? So it's no surprise, but you know, good things can't last forever. And of course, heading out of Trinity County, you can really see that here in the Sunday time frame. So through tomorrow, we're going to be in the upper 80s, lower 90s. But look at that trend, right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the next weekend, I'll probably be talking with you next weekend about triple digits once again. So like I said, you're really starting to see that trend upwards here in that time frame of the middle and end portions of the work week here out in Trinity County. Along the coast, marine boundary layers ripping out there, so we're going to be cloudy, foggy over the next several days. We'll call it mid-60s out there. But head a little further inland, yeah, you really see that trend. We're going to be talking 90s, 80s here through about Tuesday. But check it out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you are missing the heat, if you want to get your tan on or something like that, yeah, I'll tell you what, good weather for it. We're going to be back in the 90s, maybe even near 100 up here as well. Of course, Siskiyou County, Mount Shasta City, same story, upper 80s, lower 90s for tomorrow. And smoky, right? That goes without saying that much is for sure. Whew. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, though. Lower 90s, back up to mid to upper 90s here, progressively increasing through the rest of the week. Modoc County will be in the 80s. I don't really think we're going to get much higher than about 86 or 87 here for the next several days here. 
But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, we get back to the upper 90s and maybe even flirting with triple digits in the extended term there. So there's that trend becoming a little more obvious there out here in Modoc County, right? Really good case there. Hopping out of the eastern mountains, Plumas County, down to Lassen County. It's the same story, right? We're going to be in the, you know, 88 to 92 range. Give it a few degrees of wiggle room, but I really think that's about where we're going to end up here. So not too much different there. Upper 90s, though. Coming back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here. And by the way, you saw in the future cast possibility of some cloud cover in that time frame as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be too much moisture, though, that makes it down to the ground. So we'll keep an eye on that, but I'm not seeing any indications that we'll see a lot of substantial rainfall. Now, Valley South, let's head down from Corning all the way down to Biggs and Gridley. I think we're going to be in the 88 to 92 range here as well, right through tomorrow. But hey, I think triple digits are probably going to come back here by the time we're heading through that Wednesday, Thursday time frame. I think we're trending upwards in terms of how the trends are favoring, right? So same situation up here from Lakehead down to Red Bluff. In that same time frame, the middle and end portions of the work week, we're going to get back to 100 pretty quickly. So like I was saying, in terms of just the pure weather outside of the fires, we're actually not doing too shabby out there. Just a warming trend coming in over the next several days.